It's called Studies Bow. You know what that is? Studies what? Studies Bow. Okay. Is this, uh, what is this, a tag describing uh, yeah, people it's, that... It's a hashtag. The aesthetic of study? Sort of. What it is, is it kind of just fetishizes the whole process of studying. Oh, it, yeah. It's like, inspira it, inspiration for studying. You know how, like, thin spo is like inspiration to be thin? No, I don't. Well, it, it, it's like an internet culture thing. Anything with spo at the end is inspiration to do whatever. Okay, it, okay, okay. So in this case, study. Yeah, I mean, these girls just talk endlessly about what pens to use. Like, it's so important to them that they get the right pens. The right pen is important. It is. But, and then they talk extensively about specially colored pens. Oh my god. Okay. <laughs> like, basically, it most revolves around how do you make the prettiest, most effective notes? And sometimes the obsession with prettiness gets so bad that the effectiveness of the notes gets ignored. Yeah. Because they want to be able to photograph them, they do. So if you if you like if you search study spo on Tumblr, then the most posts you would get are like uh, just people photographing their desks. I don't know why. I find that really boring to photograph your desk, but. Well, you're proud. I mean, they're obviously proud of what they've created. They are very proud of it, but I wrote a Tumblr post about this. It has a lot of reblogs. You know what a reblog is? Oh, I know what a reblog is. <laughs> Where um, I was making the argument that Study Spo makes fetishizes studying such that it becomes about the process itself, not the mm. end product. Ah, this is your paradigm. What paradigm? About, are you being overly concerned with the process itself or the product? Oh. You are concerned with the product. I am. And some people are not aware that they should probably be working on the product instead of the process. Exactly, like you should be fetishizing the... Um, product. The knowledge you gain. You're so the right. Or neural connections you make, whatever. Oh. Instead of, oh my god, my notes are so pretty when I was writing them, or, oh my god, my notebook is so cute when I was using it. You're right, I totally get it now. <laughs> but my boyfriend makes the argument that okay. prettifying your uh, study materials uh, kind of incentivizes you to Ooh. study more? Just you feel prepared? <laughs> I, I thought he was going to say what I thought, and then it was something else that was funny. What did you think? I was thinking that... I want you to finish that part, I mean, if there's more. Uh, no, was it? I was thinking that by making your studying pretty, that is, that's just like evidence or expression that shows how much you care about studying. It's just something natural that happens that you're not necessarily entirely aware of. Mm, no, that's never what I've gotten from studies from. Okay. It's very, very superficial. It's not okay. like... I think that... There's good things to gain from it, though. Oh, yes, there are definitely uh, if, good things If you find it. efficient processes, if the colors help you, <laughs> you know, if the colors help you with studying, yes. then yeah, but, you know. Uh, no, I'm not saying it's bad, because, I mean, getting more effective study strategies is always good. But, uh, I mean, I guess the point where the aesthetic yes. is more emphasized than... I get it. Yeah. It's, and it's, it's, good, it's good that you told me that. Why do you keep saying that? Because you're such a... When I, when I say you're a weirdo, it's probably along the same lines of you're such a Mac. Okay. 